Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rich Carmona. I've worked and know many of you for many years. I've been in the community about 27 years. I am running for United States Senate. And um, let me just give you a minute or two about my background for those of you who may not remember. In the community, I've worked in several jobs. I was recruited here many years ago to start your first trauma and emergency medical system. I did that. I'm a professor at the university, police officer in the community. I have a quarter of a century or more working in the community on issues of social justice, on issues of inequality of health care, on health care issues in general. And so um, I've been here for a good part of my life working at all levels of government and at a local level, at a state level on health issues, sitting on the Board of Medical Examiners, sitting on the Emergency Medical Services Commission. So in short, I know the community very, very well. And I've worked on the issues that are very important to you, health, because they're important to me. The very issues that are important to you are important to me, not because I had a job, but because that's the life I lived as I, as I grew up. Okay, I came from a very poor Hispanic family who were immigrants. I profited by what this country uh, gives to all of us. High school dropout, went to college, went to the, to the GI Bill because of my service in the Army, Vietnam veteran. So all of those things kind of added up. I didn't plan when I left office as Surgeon General of the United States to run for any political office. But as most of our colleagues and friends started seeing how bad the government was and gridlock and all the problems, a lot of people reached out to me and said, why don't you consider running? Had lots of discussions over the summer, wasn't sure it was the right thing for me to do. But after a while, it became pretty clear because of the experiences I've had, because of the education I had, because of my time in Washington and seeing the dysfunctional system, seeing the extreme partisanship, that maybe I could make a difference. As Surgeon General of the United States, I did make a difference. I was in a Republican administration. I got unanimous confirmation by the Senate that's both Democrats and, and uh, Republicans. But my job was not to be the Surgeon General of any party. My job was to be the doctor of the nation. And for those of you who know me, remember me, I fought many battles on your behalf as it related to issues of social justice, issues of choice, which I was very clear on all the time about choice, always pro-choice. Never waver from that. There's a lot of misinformation that's been circulating, but if you look at my track record, I've always been very clear. Many of the battles I had with the administration are things that are the values that you all hold near and dear to your heart. Okay, the social issues, social injustice, immigration issues, the border, choice issues. And because of that, I had to hold my ground firmly as the top doctor in the United States when addressing those issues, and I always did. And the record will show that I never wavered from that. So in spite of what you hear, and some of the myths that have been out there, my record is pretty clear for everything I've done in this community, and as I served at the federal level as a Surgeon General of the United States, always staying focused on the needs of the people, always being science-based in everything I did, not ideologically or theologically driven, but all of my opinions, all of my reports, all of my public disclosures on everything were always about the best science for the people, and I've never wavered from that. So I hope to get to meet you and discuss these issues more in detail with you. I'll be speaking to some other groups this morning as well. I'll be here all day, so please come and stop and talk to me if you have any concerns or any thoughts. What you see is what you get. I haven't, I'm not a guy that does sound bites. I'm not a guy that reads the briefing paper just before. You're going to hear what I get. I'm usually the guy that writes the briefing paper for the politicians who haven't been there. I've lived the border. I've lived all of these issues that are germane to you. So I ask for your support because we can win if you put your support in me. Thanks very much. Which of the Senate candidates for right now, and I have three Senate candidates uh, that want to speak. So three questions each, and then we're going to move on with concise answers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> the Affordable Care Act, do you support it, and are there any recommendations you might make for uh, amendments to the Affordable Care Act, how it should be made better? Okay, i got to get short answers, so I've already been direct, so that's, that's a big one, okay, because that's a 2,400-page document, all right? But yes, I support it. However... I've spoken to the president and I this. I've spoken to the senior leadership, to Harry Reid, uh, uh, tell, tell you, uh, uh, Murray Schumer on all these issues. I think what the president did was brave to move forward with a plan to try and ensure that every American has access to a basic set of health care benefits. Clearly, it's where I am, 100 percent, and I advocated for that as Surgeon General. The execution was a little problematic and stumbling out. Very complicated. People didn't understand. Where's the money coming from? How are we going to do all of those things? 
So make no mistake, I think we need to stay focused on making sure that every citizen has access to a basic set of health care benefits, but the discussion needs to continue. How do we do that? What are we going to do about climate change? What are we going to do about climate change? Well, that gets into another big discussion. But for the concise answer, it's all of our responsibility. As the carbon footprint increases, as our environment is challenged, we all need to take responsibility for that. I have a lot of experience that I'd be happy to share with you in Washington as Surgeon General of the United States when I testified before Congress, when I worked with the EPA on this issue. And I had never saw it as a political issue, although parties politicized it, especially on the right. It was always clear to me that humans contribute to this warming problem and increasing the, and the footprint, the carbon footprint, and we must do something about it. So clearly, I'm behind, behind that and support many of the environmental groups that are trying to ensure that that, that happens. One more? Uh, yeah, I think Alice had her hand up first. Um, I, how would you uh, vote on funding for uh, war for the Pentagon for any more? I think we need to start withdrawing, as is the issue, okay? I, can't, I think we're there now, we're there now, and we, we shouldn't be arguing the mistakes of the past. I'm a veteran, I'm a disabled veteran, okay? My dad served in, my uncle served in the Second World War, and they were immigrants, okay? My son served two, two tours in Iraq, and my brother's a career Army Special Forces. So, military is part of my life, as is the VA, and I'm Vice President of the Department of Defense Health Board. So, I deal with these issues every day. We need to get out, but we need to get out with dignity and respect, and we're not going to create a democracy there. What we hope to do is leave a stable environment, but we should be moving out as quickly as we can. Thank you. <laughs>